Hey, Scorpio, Everlong Mystic here. So, we're gonna let the good times roll. <clears throat> All right, so I made a little spread and it's got, a, it's got a few placements here. So first we're gonna use the Alchemy of Astrology to get a clue. So just a clue that kinda lets you know like what this good thing is or when it's gonna happen or if it's around an event or a certain feeling, you have just kind of a clue as to what this good thing is. Scorpio. No way. You totally saw me shuffle that, right? Okay, so this is the same exact card that as uh, a Fucus got. Like, and it's been like two days since I recorded that video. <clears throat> so here we go. We have the second, the second reading where we have a time frame of when the moon is in a Fucus. Um, interesting. So the whole deal with the uh, Ophiuchus was, it was about really just embracing, embracing source. So that could be a thing for you, Scorpio. We're going to get some clarification here. It's about these, like the, the card, this card here is also about just mystical, mystical frequencies and um, some sacred stillness. All right. Clarification on Moon in Ophiuchus. Sorry if you can hear people talking in the background. Some people don't have volume control. All right. <clears throat> so, Ace of Emotions. No way. Is this the same card? Is this the same card that Ophiuchus had? Now I want to go look and see. I'm getting like super deja vu. <laughs> But you know, y'all are y'all are pretty close, like the signs, you know what I mean? Um Ace of Emotions, this is feeling it. Look at look at the mystical frequencies just washing, washing over you. So like you're soaking in it, Dorothy, or whatever. <laughs> okay, so let's look at um Let's look at a couple other things. We're going to look at um, the outside energy around you, the, the, the inside energy you need to embrace, and then what the universe provides. <clears throat> and I'm using light sears, which I haven't used in a long time. This, this one I wanted a lot of vibrant colors in. All right, Scorpio, let the good times roll. Tell us about the good time. All right. All right, so there is just the whole rat race going on around you, okay, Scorpio? There's there's moving, there's shaking, everyone's busy doing their thing. You know, it's uh, hustle and bustle, that kind of thing. Oh, and you have eight, eight. Look at you on the inside, though. Um, Eight of Cups. So it's not so much about like, oh, this sucks, I'm leaving. It's more about knowing what's good for you and what's not. What's healthy, what's not healthy. What resonates, what doesn't resonate. So it's really, uh, you know, tuning into yourself, using your discernment, right? And it's really like if you have some bad habits and you've been wanting to give one up, give it a try, you know? Because there's something significant here about this embracing this this energy internally. That's that's how this good time is gonna kind of facilitate or develop. And here is what the universe is going to provide. Ah, oh, look at you! So the universe is going to give you is actually going to give you clues as to what direction you need to go in here. Because you see on the card, it's like, I've like, you know, there's, there's two directions to go in. And it looks like you've already been in one direction. 
might be time to try something different because that's the one you really want anyways. So this, this good thing for you, Scorpio, involves... <clears throat> It's, it's going to be around a time where the moon is in a fucus as far as a time frame or a clue as to when. And it, you know, there might be, it might be kind of busy and stuff, you know, in outside of you, but you're, you're going to be faced with, um, I want to say a choice to either stay or go or drop something or keep something. And at that, that, that's going to be the determination of the good outcome. And Spirit, the universe, is going to show you the way. You will be getting clues. Alright, so let's look at... Let's look at um, a key component here. Alright, key component. Oh! Those three just popped out. We're only looking for one card. We're going to look at them and I'm going to put them back. Growth. That's exactly the same card that Ophiuchus had. And then we have Love. <laughs> and Surrender. That's what this is a little bit. But we're going to put them back and we're going to get the main key because we want one card. The main key here. What's the main key to this for Scorpio? This good thing, this good time. Growth, are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. Same, man. You have a lot in common with a few kiss right now, I swear. So, look at the growth just blends into this. So, I feel like you would totally benefit from watching the video um, or, or listening to the message for a few kiss about embracing source for your spiritual growth because it's 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 mingled in in your message as well so <clears throat> let's get clarification for you so weird how the same cards are coming out I'm like what day is today I work I recorded a Fucus on Saturday, and today's Wednesday. Alright, clarification on the growth for Scorpio. Ace of materials. You have a whole nother ace. Look at that. So we've got, oh man, this, you've got an opportunity for something awesome right here. And you have an opportunity for something freaking tangible right here. Scorpio, that's so cool. So as far as this growth is concerned, there are going to be like, um, like tangible metrics here. You're going to be able to see, you know what I mean? You're, it's like you're going to be able to see the difference, feel the difference. Um, let's, let's think of an example here. So let's say if it's about spiritual growth, right? Let's say um, like maybe a new sense kicks in, right? Like maybe you can, you know, maybe you're only clairaudient usually. Um, and then all of a sudden like you can, you can s like have that ghost smell kind of thing going on. Or it's, it's almost like something new, like there's a possibility of like something new a new spiritual component like coming online for you awesome so <clears throat> now now for the portion that is let's we're just gonna look and see what you need to watch out for just as a not a warning but like hey watch out for this because we don't want all this good stuff being spoiled <laughs> all right so what do we want what is Scorpio watching out for I don't know why I feel so excited for you. Why? Why is Scorpio? What does Scorpio watch out for? What does Scorpio watch out for? Alright. I, oh, 
I swear, was this one of the cards? I don't know, man. That's crazy. But you got two of wands again. Oh, interesting. Man, that, that, you know what? That's actually pretty cool because that kind of makes it a no-brainer. Because you're kind of already watching out for this because this is what the universe is going to provide. So, like, literally, watch out for your clues. Keep an eye out. Like, open your eyes. Look around. Or, you know what I mean? Like, like take it in. <laughs> that's That's kind of, that's really cool. Oh, let's get the other cards. So we also have, um, why? Well, we kind of already know why, but let's just see. Because you have a decision to make. Look at that, two of swords. Because you have a decision to make. And that's what you're kind of doing right here. Huh. All right. Makes sense. So, how do you manage it? How do you manage it? Wheel of Fortune. Dude, it all, it's almost like you're just going to kick back and let let the, the let the universe do some uh heavy pushing for a bit. Very cool. You know, I don't really see a lot of effort on your part except for this this section right here. You ha you have to be willing to make whatever this decision is and you have to be willing to give up whatever you're, whatever you need to give up right here. And it could be anything. I mean, it's, it depends on you, really. But you'll know, you know what I mean? Because it's something that like may not be that good for you. It's, it's, it's like something that hinders, hinders you in some way. You're going to realize that and give it up. The universe is going to show you what to do next. Keep an eye out for what the universe is showing you. Signs, synchronicities, whatever. Something somebody says, like something popping up on your social feed, whatever. All right, Scorpio. This is your good times roll message. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.